I'm going to show you guys a little bit about using a uh, multimeter. This one happens to be a, uh, a Fluke 87. Uh, Fluke 87 III. Uh, pretty good meter. It's getting pretty old. I think I've had this thing about, oh, about 10, 12 years, something like that. Uh, if you notice uh, looking at this meter you see down here it has three red ports and a black common port basically uh, depending on what you're trying to measure you're going to use a common lead and one of the three depending on which what you're trying to measure if you're trying to measure voltage or resistance uh, you need a you need a meter lead in this port. If you're trying to measure amperage, and you need a meter lead in the common, this is uh, uh, the big A is your your 10 amp fused port, and the little milliamps and microamps goes up to uh, 400 milliamps. So. Just depending on what you're trying to measure. Now, looking at the scale here, you'll notice there's a V with a squiggly line above it. it. Represents a squiggly line like this, which represents alternating current. So, if you're trying to measure voltage, that's alternating current, like what you would measure in a uh, a uh, an outlet. Uh, that's all all AC voltage so pretty much anything in your house you'd be using you know you put it on this one notice moving along up here you have a, a V with a steady line and a couple of little dashes that that represents direct current uh, so anything on like a battery or uh, you can also measure DC like a you know a power supply that was AC that's been rectified to DC this will pick it up uh, moving along up here this is millivolts DC so this will read uh, much smaller uh, measurements and moving along the little horseshoe looking thing that is uh, resistance uh, this is a diode checker. Uh, this is milliamps. Uh, notice over here, this will do amperage for uh, AC and DC. Same thing here, you have AC and DC. Okay, so, and then of course up here, you have your display. Uh, now this particular multimeter has has a lot more functions than just your basic one. This one you can read hertz. Uh, you can do certain things like a min max button. Uh, that if you're say you have a, a voltage that is going up and down for whatever reason, you can hit the min max button and do your test, and it'll record the the highest level and the and the lowest level. So there's a lot of extra functions on here, but uh, I'm just going to show you guys the basics. So let's say I wanted to measure a DC voltage. Well, I'll show you what I got to do. First off, I got to get my black lead and put my black lead into the common. The black one pretty much stays here. The one you want to move is your red lead, depending upon what function you want to do. I'm going with, with measuring voltage. So notice this has a V. This is voltage and, and resistance. These two are amperage. This is a higher amperage rating, up to 10 amps. This is very low amperage. It's up to 400 milliamps. So let me go ahead and put my red lead in this part uh, this is what my leads look like got a red lead and a black lead now I'm going to throw this in DC let me try to get this up and we can see it 
don't know if we can see it or not. Oh, we kind of see it now. Okay, got it on DC volts. I'm a black and my my common lead and my voltage lead. Let me get a battery supply so I can read it. it so happens I got a uh, on battery here. So let me take my leads and just hook them up. And see what we get. As you can see, I'm reading this is a 9 volt battery and I'm reading 9.17 volts DC. Say that that works. Alright, let me uh, get some more voltage and chain some batteries together. Okay, got two 9 volt batteries stuck together. I'm going to stick a lead here and a lead here. You can see now I'm reading, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm reading 18 volts, 18.31 volts. So that's how you read uh, DC voltage, put it on DC. Um, okay. Let me, uh, while I got this here, I'll uh, do a, for some reason, say we wanted to measure the resistance of something. Uh, I'll check continuity. I got a little little switch here. This is a common. Uh, one of them is normally open, normally closed. So let's go between the common and see if we can find which one the normally closed is. Which is this one. I'm reading 0 0.001 ohms. That's continuity. Uh, the switch here. It's open. Push the button. And I got continuity. 0 0.001 ohms. It's a very low resistance. See? Open, closed. Open, closed. Okay. Um, let's see, let me scoot this over a bit. I got a very big resistor. This here is a a variable resistor, a very large one. So I'm going to see if I can read it. Watch the display. I got to hold this button down. See how that's reading uh, 21 ohms. This resistor goes from, a, from about 20 ohms to 0 ohms. So let me test it here. See, so watch this. I can uh, as I turn it, the resistance is going down. And it went all the way down to about point, point 0.9. So I'd say that's working pretty good. You can go the other way. I'm just measuring the resistance of this variable resistor. This variable resistor is, like I said, rated from 0 to 20 ohms. And I'd say that it's uh, pretty good. I've got a simple test light I'm using. It has a, uh, has a light bulb built in it. See that my light's working. So I can measure a voltage drop. See what my battery reads. Battery dropped to about 7 volts.
uh, 7 volt drop. If you read it unloaded, it should be about 8.6. Then I load the battery, load the circuit, it'll have a voltage drop. Measuring the voltage drop. Okay. Now, that's how you measure voltage. Let me show you how to measure a current. So, I'm going to run a similar uh, test here. The difference is when, when you're measuring current, you've got to put the circuit in, uh, you got to change this lead over to amperage. Then you want to put it on amperage. And make sure it says DC, uh, which it does. I don't know if you can see that or not. See how that says uh, DC? If I push this button, it turns it to AC. But I want to measure DC. So, uh, to measure current, the circuit has to be in, in series. I mean, the meter has to be in series with the circuit. Notice how I have the meter lead disconnected. So, when you're, when you're taking amperage readings, you have to connect the circuit uh, through the meter. So the meter itself is going to make the connection. I got to stick a lead. Uh, let me go ahead and t keep this lead here. And I'm going to touch this lead. The light comes on. The light goes off, on. See how that it's reading current now? It's reading uh, Oh, about about 200 milliamps and since it's so low you can actually switch it to the to the milliamp scale which would read a, I can read it on the lower setting okay, so go ahead and put my lead here I'm gonna touch this lead See how the light comes on? It's making the connection through the meter. Okay. All right. So that's how you measure amperage on a multimeter. You put it in amperage, but you have to move your jack over. Okay. So let me turn this off. Now I'm going to show you guys how to measure AC voltage. I'm just going to do it at a uh, at a uh, a power outlet just to show you the basics. So I got it on got it on AC. I'm stick my leads in them in here. I gotta turn the switch on, I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Got my leads in there, and as you can see, reading 123 volts AC. You just stick the leads in, 123 volts. That's how you read AC voltage.